Welcome to another edition of Hunk of Junk Car Mods Garage. Today we are putting gear drive on a Ford 302 351 289 small block Ford motor. All right, we're going to show you what you need to do. All right, here is our timing chain cover. It will not match up. When you put a gear drive in it, in a Ford, Ford in the inside here has a chain slap, uh, I don't know what you would call it, a sleeve or whatever so that your chain can rattle up against this. You are going to have to cut this off for your gear drive. So we're going to take and modify this right now. Got it whacked off here. Um, we're gonna check our clearance. I'm gonna see if we got to do any more modifications to it. See what how it's gonna fit on there. Yeah, rubbing up against it. Very good. Take a flat disc and smooth that out and see if that'll give you enough. We've already installed our gears, but on the Ford 302, 351, 289, one of the tabs on your gears will be sticking up about a quarter of an inch. It sticks out too far it'll actually wind up being let me get this in there again it's hot still from us modifying it it'll actually stick out about that far and that's how much you got to take off of it Also, what you have to do, you have your water pump bolt tabs on the back here that have to be shaved off. Now, this is the water pump cover for a 90 
4 to 2004 302 cover. Um, comes on your Ford uh, Explorers. Uh, it comes on your truck motors and everything. Um, this is for, this one here is for the uh, serpentine belt type. This one here is for the old style, which is the regular fan belt pulley style. Now, if you notice the modifications, there is a timing chain slap ear here that had to be removed on this one here. And that allows it because there is no gap in between your top gear and your bottom gear for a timing chain. You have a double gear here, so that has to come off. So there is one, two, three modifications that you have to do to make a gear drive work on the small block Ford. All right, we have... Instead of timing chain gears here, uh, you basically line up dot to dot like you would when you're putting a double roller timing chain in. Um, you put your gear on the bottom, you line that up with your zero mark here on the top gear, and basically these just slide right in there like so. And there you are. Really simple. Um, they don't give you any instructions with these ones. I don't know why, what the deal was, or anything like that. But your big gear goes on your left-hand side. Your littler gear goes on your right-hand side. Um, them are sat in there. Your cam gear is locked down tight. You first put, before you put anything on, you put your number one. Piston up the top, dead center. Your keyway on a Ford usually will be straight up and down. Um, and then your dot is, of course, right there. So we got our dot. So we got our time and chain in. We now have it to where we are flush up against the motor. Make sure my ear is on over there. We're flush up against the motor. We have it all there. We put our gasket on and everything like that. We do now have gear drive in a Ford 302, 351, 289, any small block Ford motor. And that's basically it. It's pretty simple. Um, we've looked online. We've looked on YouTube to find a video that shows how it's to be done. We couldn't find nothing, so we made one for you. We hope this helps you out, and good luck with your build. Well, we've come to the end of another episode here at Hunk of Junk Car Mods Garage. Hope we've inspired you to get out and work on a vehicle. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. For you that have subscribed already and our followers, thanks for uh, subscribing and everything. Remember, like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day.